investigation that I conduct. Uh, I think that's what you're referring to. There are really no quote unquote reproduction or repercussions. I can only make recommendations and it will be up to you to accept, reject, or modify those recommendations. Okay. 
Um, there is no, I cannot hold a council uh, in any way, shape, or form to, uh, um, to do something. It is council, I can only recommend that the council do something in this regard. So I, I hope I've answered your question. Kind of, but okay, let's go out again. We really need to be educated on this. There's no question. About that. But at the end of the day, if this happens again, and it happens again, at some point in time, it's got to be stopped. Is it a fine, or do we have that three, three months? So okay. Ultimately, so ultimately, 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 someone we want to take it to court. Okay. 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 That's really the repercussion okay. in this case. Now, um, there is some indication that the Accountability Act of Ontario is changing and, and changing significantly with respect to the role of the Ombudsman's Office with respect to closed meetings. And I, I do not want to, I'm not completely familiar with, with the latest versions of what's going on. So there now may be in the future, I'm not certain yet, another layer that deals with repercussions as we've talked about them as well. And it's a concern for me too yeah. because if I I sit on a number of committees too, and if I make a mistake, I don't want to end up losing three months here because I value what I learn here. The, the, the flip side to that is the work of the investigator can also be reviewed by the ombudsman, and, and so it should I mean the balance should be balanced then, you know, overall. So um, court of law, bottom line. Um, in the future, okay. Thank you. Well, Mr. Forney, you've done your job. You've done it well. I um, appreciate your being here this evening and expanding on your on your report, your findings. Uh, and you, uh, you did your work well, and uh, we recognize uh, on that committee and the person that Mr. Cassidy shares that committee as an exemplary volunteer, and uh, sometimes some of the vulnerability that we all have. I think you would all understand that uh, certainly in my post eight years now as head of council, this is the first such uh, incident that uh, I'm aware of. Uh, but you know, I think you would you experience yourself around the table, the, the acceptance of your report, your findings, your recommendation. And uh, certainly, uh, as he does take great pride, and mentioned that earlier comments, Councillor Grant uh, takes great pride in uh, his knowledge of. Uh, and uh, certainly that incident was, as you described, it spontaneous. There was no uh, intention uh, to do other than uh, the usual proper business on behalf of residents of Cornwall. And in conclusion, also, I sincerely appreciate your offer to uh, continue to work with us as we work our way through making the improvements necessary to meet the highest standards we have set for ourselves individually and collectively as a council in the area of transparency and accountability. So thank you for your assistance. And, uh, as one colleague says, we don't want to we don't want to make you come to Cornwall too often. But certainly we count on your, your assistance from time to time. I'll be well served by you. So thank you and we wish you well. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor and members of the council for the opportunity. There is one final word if I may. Um, by all means. What I want to say to, uh, to you is, is that um, your staff uh, are exceptionally helpful. Uh, in the course of conducting uh, an investigation. All requests are dealt with quickly, promptly, without hesitation, or if there's a question, we have a good discussion about it um, and, and move on and deal with it. So I, I just want to take a moment to assure you that um, the other side of this equation, your staff, are doing their work as well, are doing their best with what they, well, they Thank you, we believe we are well served.